Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. Today is Thursday, July 22nd, and I'm Marilyn Spina and glad to be with you this morning. I hope you continue to feel connected and uplifted through our worship, streaming worship services and daily devotionals. And if you have any problems connecting to any of these, please call the church office for assistance. And on behalf of church staff and council, again, thank you for the way you continue to support Lord of Life in all its ministries. And please know if you are in need of assistance, please contact the church office because we're here for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. This morning I pray the words I share might help someone find peace, might draw someone a bit closer to God, or maybe just uh, give them a little lift for the day. And again, thank you for this time we spend together. Today's devotion I've entitled, Every Day is a Good Day. Okay, scene one. Have you ever begun a day when you felt as though you got up on the wrong side of the bed? Maybe it seemed that you were having a Murphy's Law day and that Murphy had it out for you. You overslept, didn't have time for morning devotion, ran out of coffee, tripped over the dog and stubbed your toe, the washing machine didn't drain, you forgot to mail the insurance check, etc., etc. You get the idea. Now, let's move to scene two and start over. Scene two. You opened your eyes to an alarm ringing, maybe after hitting the snooze a time or two. You think of reciting a simple prayer, for example, good morning, God, this is your day. I am your child, please show me the way. Or maybe it's, this is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's direct from Psalms 118.24. You utter your simple day and your day begins. Okay, you overslept. Perhaps God thought you needed a little more rest. No time for morning devotion. God is patient and understanding, but why not vow to put a devotional book or a Bible maybe in your bathroom so you can spend a few minutes with him at the start of each day? No coffee left? He's a good substitute. The dog is in your path? How great to be greeted every morning by the happy bit of fluff. Insurance check late because you forgot to mail it? Call the insurance company. Explain the delay. They'll understand and appreciate your call. And here is just one more greeting to consider as you start the day with God. It's a Bible verse and I think easy to remember. Remind me each morning of your constant love, for I put my trust in you. My prayers go up to you. Show me the way I should go. Psalm 143.8. We are truly on the way to a positive day every day when we start the day with God. This is the key that makes every day a good day. Amen. Please join me for a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, help us to remember that everything begins and ends with you. Remind us to start each day with you. With you front and center in our lives, every day can be a good day. Lord, we ask that you keep watch over your children, whether they're relaxing at home, at work, Serving others are on the road. Each one needs your special touch. And Lord God, there are so many who need your healing touch and love. We ask that you wrap your loving arms around those who are struggling, struggling in many ways with health issues, long-term illnesses, relationships, financial issues, decision-making, and simply striving for peace. May they feel your presence and strength and may we pause now and bring to you those other concerns in silence that we carry deep in our hearts. Lord, also be with those affected by severe weather, help them find safe places, and give them encouragement each and every day. And we thank you for always being there to listen, love, guide, watch over, encourage, and direct us. We pray all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And a few reminders. Remember, the Alive Contemporary service is in person as well as live streamed at 931. 
and the traditional service at 1045 is in person and also live streamed. And you will find the bulletin for that either by clicking in the e-news on the link or going to our homepage and going under current events and then you can print it out. Also for the 1045 service, bulletins are available at church. Uh, the e-news has a sign up for flowers and candle still has a few openings and you can access either of those by clicking on the link found in your e-news. And a big thank you to those who have already donated flowers and candles. And remember, August 1st, which is next Sunday, we'll reinstate the 8.15 a.m. service. But please note, that service will not be live streamed. And Kidspiration is now at both services at 9.31 and 10.45. But be sure to sign up your child or children using the link found in the e-news because we want to make sure that your children have a fun experience and are safe. There's other important announcements in the e-news. I would encourage you to read it. And may I say that I ask God to bless and keep each one of you safe in the circle of his love. Thank you for your time this morning and God bless. Amen. <laughs>